Why'd you jump? Oh! Eric Van Wilderman. Geometry Dash. Weekly Demon. Turbine by Ray Firm. Welcome back to Geometry Cubes and Fun Stuff. We have two weekly demons to do. I think there's two. I might have missed one in between. I think I did the one right before I left. I was gone for a week and a half, so I'm pretty sure there's Turbine, and then there's the next one. And I think that's it. But I don't know, I'm, I'm sure we'll find out. So Turbine by Rafer is a medium demon. It's the one that was up when I was gone. And it's pretty hard, because there's a lot of stuff you gotta remember. Like, I think skill-wise, it's not that bad, but there's so many little things to remember. Like, right here, you gotta kinda, like, jump a little bit late, and there's a lot of little moments that try to, like, fake you out like that! I don't want to call the level trolley, but there's fakes, and you got to be aware of the fakes, and that's a perfect example of a fake that would kill you. You don't hit both of those jump rings there, even though they look like perfectly hittable jump rings. You want to smack both of them, you just, you just, but you don't. And there, there's a couple tight flying spaces, but they're not like super tight. It's just there's one flying part that takes a little bit of know-how. But I mean, to some people, I mean, that is pretty hard because it's it's decently tight and then you got to hit a jump ring, like, in another corridor. And it, it is. It's a little tight. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Sing it with me. Ha! Huh. Okay, come on. Hit this good up, down, all around. Boom, you got to go up and down there. Fly. And you got to go up through there. It's a little bit of a fake. But it's not that bad. And boom, 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 boom. And this, you got to jump right away. And that too, you got to jump right away. And you go into the turbines, which is really cool. And they like kind of float you up. And now it's kind of chill for a little bit. Oh my god. See, it's kind of chill. You got to hit the button there, though. You got to jump. I can't believe I'm still alive. You got to hit the button twice there. How am I still alive? I fluked. I started mashing and I got it. How am I, I don't know how I'm still alive. I mean, honest, guys. I, how am I doing this? And this, okay, there's a jump ring there. That was a really good attempt. I mean, okay. If we're gonna go like quality wise of attempts of like knowing what I was doing and actually like, you know, remembering stuff, it wasn't that good of an attempt <laughs> because I fluked. But hey, let's go, let's go here. I'm, I'm gonna explain some stuff to you. See right here you slide and you actually have to like hold down the button. So there, there's a lot of parts that you can't sight read like here because you have to hold down the button otherwise you die right away. This part's kind of weird, this cube part, because I find like as you're jumping up here, you got to hit the button a bunch to like jump because if I just go up here and I don't press the button, I like hit that right there. So I kind of just like mash the button like as I go through the portal. I think it's because you got to like jump once as, yeah, you got to jump once as the UFO. So it's important like I just mash it as I go through there and then you don't got to press anything on the slope. You just wait and then you hit that Hit that as you wait and then you got to jump and hit those now here looks confusing as well All you do is you go up once and then go down So you, you pretty much like when you're on the flat platform on the bottom you just go like up down now right here The best thing to do is to hold down the button and kind of jump uh, You can like hold down the button and just like go on the slope But then you, you're like kind of at the top and you fall down best way to do is just jump into that portal and hold down the button it's pretty self-explanatory for a little bit. Like, there's nothing, like, that difficult in the middle section right here. You just kind of, like, coast along and then wait right there. Now, this part right here, I would say, is one of the harder parts. It's one of the parts that you have to remember. So when you change into the wave, you should wait a little bit. It's really easy to want to, like, press the button right away and hit that wall. Wait a little bit to go down. Now, here, you can't just go up and let go of the button. You got to go up and then down. Up, down, then hit those two jump rings, and then you got to go down. So there's a lot of button inputs really quick. So you go, like, one, two, one, two, one, one, two. A lot of button inputs really quick. This part looks hard, but it's really easy. So what you do is you just wait till right before the spike says the UFO and you just jump three times. One, two, three, like that. And the top will automatically go. And then the second part is really easy as well because you just focus on the bottom and just press the button like right at the arrows. Arrow one, two, three, boom. And here like you fall through and you got to make sure to hit the jump ring. You fall through and then you fall through. But on that second time, you got to hold down the button so that you jump over and to the green jump ring. If you don't hold down the button, you won't jump and you will die. So, boom, hold like that so you can hit that. And then when you jump there, the second jump, you hold down the button so you can fly as the ship. If you accidentally press the button in midair, you're gonna hit the pink jump ring and die. So as soon as you jump, you just hold down the button. Wait till you're at the end and just hold down the button and you'll fly up. Easy peasy, right? Now this part right here, you gotta take the top route. There's two routes you can take. And now that part dumps you out really quick as the UFO. So you really gotta focus on where that UFO portal's coming and practice by like uh, being able to react on time. 
So see, boom, and I get ready, and then boom, boom, and you gotta really get ready for that UFO timing really fast. And now it's pretty easy, but as soon as you get there at 78%, you turn to the mini, you gotta fly all the way down at the bottom. It's really easy to die there from not going down far enough. Like, see, I go down, like, right there, and I died. Like, I was still pretty close to the bottom, but you gotta go down, like, all the way. So, that's, uh, it's something that you're gonna have to practice. You gotta go down, like, almost all the way, and then you just kinda coast and stay at the top. All the way, stay at the top. Boom. And there you only hit the button twice. Like, it's really tempting to want to hit the button more than that, but all you do is you hit it once when you're upside down, and then you hit the green jump ring. Once, green jump ring. Boom. And then from here on out, I don't think the level's too hard. So pretty easy, but then when you get to that part, it splits again. You gotta take the top route. And the wave is pretty easy. Here it splits into a duel, and you gotta wait until you hit the ground. You can't jump right away. Like, you can't just... You can't just hold down the button and get over it. You'll die. So you gotta, like, hit the ground and then wait and then jump again. And then there as well, you gotta, like, hit the ground and wait a little bit. You can't just hold down the button, otherwise you'll die. Jump, wait, jump, wait, jump, jump, and boom. And after that, pretty easy. You just gotta make sure to wait, but you also gotta just, just mash the button at the end. There's a jump ring that will kill you. And it's, it's silly business, because I've died there a couple times in practice just forgetting about it. If you forget that jump ring at the end, you're really gonna be sad. Just, just mash the button at the end. Like, because you could try to hold the button, but holding down the button when you buffer your input, it only lasts for a certain amount of time. And you, you, you just, ah, the tricks! You just, <laughs> you don't want to succumb to that. Oh my god, can I remember the tricks? That's the question. It's decently long, and there's, the skill parts aren't that hard. It's just, there's a lot of little things, you know? Oh god, here we go. Jump, yeah, hold down the button, jump, and boom, what? Sometimes it doesn't blow me hard enough. Come on. Yeah, now we're the furthest we've ever been, but we're gonna rock it. Yeah, I'm so, f yes, boom, twice? Oh yeah, it's this part, okay, I nailed it though, I thought that was gonna kill me. One, two, three, and boom, 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 yes, now we're flying. Oh my god, ah! I held down the button too long. I just like reefed on the button and I automatically jumped. Oh, that sucks. Damn it, I shouldn't have died there. There were so many other cool places to kill me at. Okay. And this time you hold. Yes. Oh, I almost forgot to hold it there. Okay. No, we're flying. We're flying, Eric. Don't let the tricks get you. Yes, we took the right path and boom, boom. Oh my God. Gotta go quick there a little bit. Yep. And jump into here. Now fall all the way. Stay at the top. One, two. Boom. And come on, there's one more trick. I remember it's up. Ah! Why'd you jump? Ah! You just fall? No. Hey, th there's there's like a coin path up there though. I found that. That's cool. <laughs> I didn't even realize, okay. Well, if you guys want to figure it out, there's a coin up there, I guess. <laughs> oh, why'd I jump? I, I guess, like, you gotta fall down and then you jump, and I was playing tricks in my brain. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. I mean, come on, 93. Bound to get it soon, right? Damn, though, I thought that was gonna be it. I had a clutch moment there where I forgot which way to go as the ship, and then I just, like, chose right at the last second. I was, like, so clutch. <laughs> I was freaking out. I love winning on those times that you're panicking, because it's like such a clutch victory, right? And it just feels amazing, but oh well. I guess it's gonna be a non-clutch victory. Here we go. What? Oh, you gotta hold down the button? Oh, come on, that was the very end. What? I pressed the button, but I didn't hold it when I went through there. Oh, no.
that took way longer than it should. I can't believe those deaths at the end. I can't believe it. Jeez, la bomb to triple Bs. That was just insane. Turbine by Rafer. Fun, fast-paced, love the gameplay. Uh, but there, there's a little bit of memorization involved. I wasn't a big fan of some of the memorization bits, but... I would say I really, really enjoyed it overall, and I would definitely consider that a medium demon. Perfect medium demon, right in the middle. 315 attempts, ba-boom, let's get our prize. Hell yeah, wow, we got two shards of power and a key, that's cool. Okay, wow, so the new one is Xenomorphosis by Goose. Anyways guys, I apologize, that's all the time I had to do a video today. In the next video, we are going to be doing this level, Xenomorphosis by Goose, and I hear this is an absolutely fantastic level, and I'm really surprised it's the Weekly Demon already, because I thought this level had just recently come out, but I want to dedicate a whole video to this level, because I hear it's absolutely amazing, and I'm going to start it from scratch, from zero attempts, and I'm going to give my first impression on it, because I hear it's just incredible. So yeah, we'll save that for the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you in the next one, and as always, peace.